everybody, Yamez here with Island Metal Forge. Um, due to the, I don't want to say popularity, but like my subscribers, they, they like, you guys all liked the uh, Cole videos. You guys said they were very helpful, very informative. Um, I had done the one on just how to light a coal, for, or coal fire, and I immediately had requests for both anthracite and how to light a fresh coal fire. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to light a fresh coal fire with no coke in it, no anthracite, just cardboard, wood, and a little bit of uh, lighter fluid, and get you a fire to work with. So uh, I hope this helps and enjoy. So let's go light some fires. <laughs> All right, so fresh green coal. We call it green because, well, it's fresh. Uh, I've got my fire set up exactly the way I always do the cardboard on the bottom and then the sticks of wood on top. Uh, I will note that for the anthracite video, it was pointed out to me uh, very smartly, by the way, that the cause of the majority of the clinkers that I've been having with the anthracite is because I was using charcoal uh, briquettes to start it, and they have a lot of binders and added ingredients in it, uh, which turns into clinker. Um, I stopped doing that, and big difference. You know, I still get clinker, but big difference. So in this one, in this video, I'm going to do this lighting fresh green coal, only coal, no coke is going in there. So let's get this lit. around the edges just around the edges still burning. And I start a bit of a pile around the edge. It'll slowly kind of start to coat up. Just a little bit of air. I'm just like barely turning the crank here. Put a little bit of fresh just in the middle. You can see it starting to coke up and cake a little bit. But right about there, you want to wait, kind of tightening up just a little bit, not pushing in to cover the chimney in the middle. You can see with uh, Bitumius, a lot more smoke than you do with the anthracite. I'm giving it a bit of a test. It's kind of, it's mainly a big solid ring of uh, coal that's coking up right there, right now. So with that, I'll add some more. A little bit around, a little bit on top. And then make another chimney hole. You can, if you like, hit the ridge the outside, the rim, with a bit of water. Um, I just use a bottle with a hole in the lid. 
Um, you can use a, a rag on a stick, padding out water or a sprinkle can. That's more to help with the um, coking process. It, it helps burn out the, uh, steam out the um, uh, contaminants and, and like uh, the impurities and allows it to coke up a little bit uh, more even and nicely. I don't do it all the time, but when I do remember, I do notice I get a little bit of a cleaner fire. Just a little bit. It also helps to control where you want the fireball in the middle. I'm going to kind of break those because I don't need a cave. I'm going to break the little bit of coke up. and grab a piece out it puffs up nicely try and get it to focus and it's tough to see but it puffs up really nicely Woo. and that is essentially lit It's just adjusting the fire to your needs. Today I'm only doing some small things, so I don't need much more than that. I'm not doing any forge welding, so I don't need a cave. Very simple, very quick, very foolproof. I honestly don't know why um, it shows, say, for example, on that show, um, Forging It in Fire, uh, why they every time there's coal, they kind of freak out. Even for somebody who's never really worked with coal, you light a fire, add the coal, and, and just keep giving it air. So, no offense intended to anybody who's having trouble, but once you get it, you get it. So thank you for watching. I hope this helped. these uh, fire series videos, the lighting the coal, uh, coke, lighting the anthracite, and lighting the fresh coal uh, bitumius. I hope those really helped you guys out. Um, if you all have any other fire questions, uh, let me know, and uh, if I don't know how to answer them, I'll uh, research it or help you point you in the right direction or whatever. Uh, the questions you bring me that I don't know is something that I should probably learn. So... Keep the questions coming. I love what y'all are doing in the comments section. So thank you. Just you know, leave those all down there with all your friends. Um, anyway, I'm going to link the other two uh, cold videos right here. And uh, please hit that subscribe button. Hearts and health, everybody. And uh, check out my Patreon. I've done some changes. Uh, thank you.